Hi, Matt with E-Trailer. If you have a 2024 Ram 1500 and you're driving through some moderate snow and ice conditions and you want something that's going to be really easy to give you that extra traction that really take on and off your tires, then the Titan Chain Assisted Tensioning Tire Chains are going to be a great option for you. So let's check it out. And we're going to have these tire chains on tire size 265, 70, or 17 and it will fit a variety of other sizes. So that's just the size we have today. We're also going to have this on the rear axle. That's what the manual recommends. Now, if you're worried if this is going to fit your tire or not, you can actually plug in your vehicle's information into our fit guide to make sure this is the right one for you. These chains are going to be constructed from a manganese nickel alloy, so they're going to be very durable. They're going to last you a long time since they're going to be weather resistant as well. And something else that I like about them is we're going to have these squared links. And these square links are going to give you a little more traction when you're driving through those icy conditions. And even though they're not super big and bulky chains, I think that actually helps us out a lot today because that's going to be Class S. And Class S chains are really important on our vehicle because we don't have a whole lot of clearance behind our tire. So you're going to want some more low profile tire chains. And we're going to have this diamond pattern to our chains. And what that diamond pattern is doing for us is giving us more surface area on our tire, giving us more traction overall. And what's going to set this apart from some other standard chains is we're going to have this assistant tensioning mechanism. So how this works is we're going to have this gray link that actually pulls on certain segments of our chains, pulling from different areas, cinching everything together. And what's helping that is going to be this rubber tensioner right here. Because what's happening is we got this middle hook that's grabbing on the other end. And if your chains ever were to loosen up, which is going to be likely because when you're driving on the roads, a lot of times your chains are going to shift, loosen up some. And what this is going to do is once you get some of that slack in your chains, that's going to pull that slack back out and keep everything nice and tight. And we're going to have this really nice container. It's going to be made out of this softer material, still pretty durable. So it's going to be really nice just to put underneath your bent seats or your rear seats you have. And what I really like about it is how your chains are stored in here. So you'll notice we have these little pockets to keep our chains in. They fit really neatly. And what's nice about that is we're keeping our chains separated. So you don't have to worry about them getting tangled together. It's really easy to put them in and take them out. Now in my opinion, I think this is a great set of chains if you're looking for something that's going to get you through those moderate snow and ice conditions and is really easy to install. Now if you're looking for maybe an upgrade to some self-tensioning tire chains because while the assisted tensioner is nice, if you get into any situation to have maybe you lose a lot of slack in your chains, the self-tensioning chains are going to do a better job tightening everything back up and you don't have to monitor them as much as these chains. But I think if you're just using these occasionally, not using them every day, these are going to be a perfect set for you. If you are curious to see what this installation looks like, just stay tuned and we'll walk you through it. To begin the installation, I'm going to lay out my chains, grab some gloves, just to make this a bit easier. And if you haven't done this before, I recommend staying home trying this out because you don't want to try to figure this out on the side of the road in the middle of a blizzard. But what I'm looking for is make sure we don't have any damages to our links. We have everything in the right orientation. So what I mean by that is we're going to have these hooks. We want to make sure those are facing down and not up so they're not making contact with our vehicle or our tires. And we also want to make sure that this gray cord on the back side is closest to our tire. And here in the center, we want to make sure we don't have anything connected quite yet. And if nothing's connected, we can start putting it on. So what I'm going to do is push everything to the relative sides and then kind of slide it behind our tire. Now, if you're in a situation where you can't really slide it, you might just have to chuck it behind here and then pull everything to one side and kind of lay everything out so it's going to be a little bit easier to grab and make sure nothing's tangled. Then I'm going to grab this gray cord on the back, lift up and the connection behind our tire. And that's really just going to be this middle block that goes into this channel. Once that's done, I'm going to pull forward on here and drape the rest of our chain over. 
Once we've done that, we'll connect this green hook and this yellow link, just like that. Shift it a bit. And then we're gonna come over to the bottom. We wanna try to make sure everything's pretty even, pretty level. I'm gonna take this gray chain, run it through this red channel, and then apply pressure. Once we have done that, we're gonna take the, the hook end, push it through these eyelets, apply tension each time you do that. You're gonna have two of them. Once you get that through, we'll pull on it again. We're gonna reach across and connect it on the other side. Now, if you can't reach it, just go to the closest link you can, making sure that hook is facing away from your tire so you don't damage anything. And afterwards, kind of pull on it, make sure everything feels good. And if it does, then you can repeat this process on the other side. After which, I recommend backing up, pulling forward some, making sure everything looks good, nothing is shifted too much. And if it still looks good, then you can hit the road. But that's just a look at the installation and some of the features of the Titan Chain Assisted Tire Chains on our 2024 Ram 1500. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching.